Okay, so here's what's going to happen. First of all, the GoTech have a power, got a 5 volt wall wart. I'm going to plug the thumb drive into here. And we'll go ahead and just plug this in. So we're going to choose that image that we just created. Okay, which is uh, image four. Okay. So since we have DOS 3.1, doesn't have a config sys or anything like that, it's not going to recognize the external port in here. So we're going to make this the floppy in order to get us going with version DOS version 3.3. And it's also going to load up that config sys file. Okay. So I want you to also note the jumpers on here. So this, let me see if I can get this thing. So this is jumpered as S0, okay? It's a second jumper from the left there um, to recognize this drive. So that's because that's going at the end of this um, twisted cable. I'd leave it as S1 if it was going before the twist, but this is um, going after the twist. And if you do this and you plug it in and your drive isn't recognized, just change the jumper to S from S0 to S1 and see if that works. Um, so, but I, I know for a fact that I'm going to need to put it, the jumper where I have it right now because I'm at the end of this twist. So I'm going to plug this into the card into the floppy card here remember red is pin one always okay so that's in the floppy and then red is pin one that goes to towards the power on the GoTech I wanted the, the twist, right? Okay. So got my GoTech in there. It's on image four. And we should just hopefully turn this on and it should just spin right up. And it should be booting from image four. Okay, so we look at the GoTech. That should be whirring in a second as soon as I hit the key there. You should see the green light on it. Come on. Okay, well I'll, I'll hold it and. There's a green light, that means that it's booting off of the GoTech. Make sure I got the right image in here. I, I, I moved the dial, unfortunately when I was putting this on, so... Go ahead and try this one more time. Okay, it should be booting off the GoTech right now because I can hear it whirring. It loaded the external disk driver. That's that config sys command that we had in there. 
Let's see. So it loaded the external disk driver. That's that config sys file, so we know it worked because that's what loaded up. And we're on version 3.3, and that's what that image was, because the hard drive has version 3.1, and it wouldn't have worked if we couldn't load the sys, that config sys driver. That wouldn't have come up. So now that we have 3.3 loaded, we have that config sys um, loaded up. I'm going to want to make a bootable DOS 3.3 um, floppy here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. What I'm going to do. I'm going to leave everything running. I'm going to unplug the GoTech from here. I'm going to plug my floppy back in. Okay. And I have the external cable for the GoTech right here. So I'm going to plug the GoTech into this now. Again, the red pin one goes towards the power. Okay, so now that's plugged in, I should see a drive D here. Go back to the screen. And that should be my GoTech. There you go. So that's the GoTech that's on the external 37 pin connector right now. And that's possible because of that config sys telling it that I have an external drive. So now that we've got this going here, let's boot up, uh, or let's make, let's format a DOS 3.3 disk. Okay, so I have a DOS, a blank DOS disk, well, a, a plain floppy disk, nothing on it, it's brand spanking new. So we're going to do format a colon slash s to transfer the system file over. And I don't know if you can see the GoTech whirring away, that green light on the GoTech there is going to show that uh, it's, it's working. So, so right now what it's doing is it's formatting the floppy. Okay, now that the format is done, we're going to copy that config sys over. So, and copy the config sys to A, and you can see. The GoTech is going to go. The green light's on, so you can see that's working. And the copy is done. So, technically, at this point, we can shut off the computer, boot up off the floppy on drive A, keeping the GoTech external the way we wanted, and drive A is going to load up with DOS version 3.3 and recognize the GoTech. So, let's do that next. Okay, so this should be booting up off the floppy now. There we go. 
and it should be loading up DOS 3.3. Ah, okay, so something that I failed to do when we, we copied the config sys file over, but we forgot, I forgot to copy the driver sys file over. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. I had copied onto the C drive a version of DOS 3.3 on here. Yes, so we'll copy the driver sys file over. So when I, after I formatted the floppy using uh, uh, the blank floppy as for version 3.3, I should have copied the config sys, which I did, but I also needed to copy the driver.sys file over. And realistically, I should have just copied all of the DOS files over from the GoTech to have a full DOS disk. But um, so let me go ahead and do that now. Copy driver sys to A. Okay, so now if we restart, it'll boot from the floppy and it should recognize the external GoTech at this point. There you go. So it loaded the external driver for drive D. If I go to drive, do a directory on drive D, I should see the GoTech, which is right there. Now, with the GoTech configured and it's external, now I can go to some of the other images I put on there. So I put on the network card images on here somewhere. I believe it might have been this. So I can do a directory on drive D. Every time I change the device on the GoTech, it'll update drive D. So there's a cool thing about this. There are my network files that I'm going to want in order to get my ethernet card going. And that way I'll be able to log into my FTP server and transfer files back and forth through FTP. Because there's nothing wrong with using the GoTech, but every time I use the GoTech, I'm gonna put files on the, on, the, on, the, on the thumb drive, and then I have to come down here and you know take them off the thumb drive and wanna put files out of here. I have to put files on the thumb drive from here and then copy. This is a lot of movement with the thumb drive using the FTP server and the ethernet card, I can connect to devices here. I can telnet into places. I mean, I can do a lot of stuff. So that's why I want to put the ethernet card in here, but that's going to be the, for the next video on configuring and setting that up. But for our purposes here, I think you saw, I had version 1.0, which wouldn't have recognized the GoTech. That's what's on the C drive. I needed to update you know, the log, the, 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 the boot to DOS 3.3 at least, I believe actually 3.2, but DOS 3.3 at least, um, in order for me to get the driver sys file and a config sys file on there for it to recognize the GoTech. It recognizes the GoTech now as an external drive. It's on the 37 pin port and I'm good to go. I can, outside of putting the ethernet card in here, once I do that, I can close this case up and I'm done. So what did I need out of this? I needed to configure the jumper here for S0 because I was using the, uh, the twisted end of the cable. I had an internal cable, which is just, you know, ID and floppy, but you need this for the card. So um, I had an internal cable that I used in order to get it off the GoTech first. Um, don't need that cable anymore. Um, everything else is completely original. So this whole machine is original for the period and the GoTech is just an external device. So next video, setting up the ethernet card and showing you how you can transfer files using FTP.